Hello everyone. So uh, yeah, sorry I didn't come here last week. Uh, so we're at a two week fortnightly update. Um, but yeah, progress this week's been pretty good. We were here during the week, so I'll show you like some things, uh, explain some things, but yeah, let me uh, show you out. We're sort of like, yeah, standing in the first bedroom. Let me flip it round. Um, I'll try and go as slow as I can. Just got door linings going in. Just been round taking pictures. So you can see this this cupboard's been blocked up. This was the downstairs toilet. Um, yeah, so that's the wall that was for the cupboards. So obviously, you can put a shower there. So that's for the bedroom there. Um, show you all this. So coming through to the kitchen. Obviously, this has been ripped out. That's been blocked up. Uh, there was a utility room here, the back door, that's been blocked up, so this will become an ensuite. Um, so really a uh, good size bedroom here, I mean that's a good size bedroom to be fair. So yeah, coming through here, lounge slash dining slash kitchen, largely sort of unchanged in here. It's obviously um, a big space, and then sort of through here to the kitchen. And you can see this has been ripped down. It's coming out here. All of that's been ripped. Let me just run to the back. Have a look from here. Big dormer now. So yeah, that's coming along like really nicely. Um, nothing too exciting down here. We've kind of been working top down. Um, let me show you the rest of the house. Upstairs, some good, big changes happened. Um, I'm excited to show you this, so. Coming up here. You're gonna see massive difference. Oh, you can see the staircase here. Let me show you around quickly. On this floor, this level, so you can see the door lining here. The big steels up there. Um, so yeah, you can see this is uh, the ensuite here for this bedroom. This is another bedroom here. And then this is going to be the ensuite for this bedroom. That's the ensuite for next door. Windows going in there and temporary fixing. You can see, as of like a couple of days ago, we've now got the staircase in. Um, so there was a load of stuff here. So this is the ensuite for this bedroom here. Obviously, this will be a bedroom. And we're gonna put like cupboards under the stairs here. So we don't have to accommodate a wardrobe. But you can see it's a nice, uh, good size. And then through here was the old big, big bedroom with an ensuite. Um, so we were here Friday, um, Friday morning, and obviously like we do the plans ahead of schedule and all that sort of stuff, but on paper, to so actually when you're standing in the house, it's obviously completely different. So I'd always advise like making sure you come to site like weekly to see what's going on, because um, yesterday there was still all the uh, stub work here, the stairs weren't in, but I was sort of saying like this this area here is completely wasted so we were literally chatting here and i walked into to this bedroom here i was like oh, it feels a bit small and then i looked at that bedroom and like looking at the old bathroom here i was like this ensuite is absolutely massive for that bedroom where that bedroom's a bit small so we were having a discussion between alicia myself and the builders what we're going to do is obviously like this corridor space is wasted so we're going to bring the doorways actually to come here. So the door will be around here. We're gonna nick this space here. This now will become a cupboard for that bedroom. So you're gonna have like a big cut out walk in, walk in sort of wardrobe. So we don't have to put a, a wardrobe in that bedroom. We're gonna L that en suite because it doesn't need to be that big. So in the corner over there, obviously we've got, we've got the window there so we can't, you know, blocking that up there's tiles on the outside it's just a load of extra cost and extra work so we're going to put like a glass screen shower so we can keep that um, and reduce cost so basically like this whole shift doesn't actually cost us any more 
um, same sort of price because these battens are going to come down anyway. We're saying so. Yeah. So you just have to think like when you're on site, you can just you get a good feel for it. And then this bedroom here will be bigger because then you'll be able to put a desk and a bed and all that sort of stuff. And it won't feel absolutely like cramped in. Because uh, obviously we don't have big Victorian houses here in Crawley. So uh, yeah, we have to make do. And then we don't need all this corridor space here. Um, so that was exciting. Um, good little change here. Other than that, all the bedrooms feeling pretty good. And then on to here, which I've not been able to come up here since today. So this is awesome. So let me show you this. Ta da! Ensuite. This is like apartment one, it will be. And then bedroom two. So, yeah, gotta be careful. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Like, never done a a loft extension, uh, it's looking really good up here. So we've got to take some measurements for Alicia. Um, but works progressing really nicely. So I don't know if the lighting's a bit crappy up here or not. Um, but yeah, that's, that's our update. So some good changes down there. Works progressing nicely. This conversion up here is going really, really nice. Um, nothing more swag really. So, um, I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.